Welcome back, Church Convener. See, this is not a read, but so much as a follow-up. Um, I did go back and try to research a little bit more on the Miss Alabama case. And I noticed right off the bat that some, okay, these, these are news uh, sources or news sites, news outlets, side by side uh, when you pull it up on Google. And one is saying it's a suicide attempt, that she jumped off this, you know, condominium building up seven stories or six stories. And then the next one will say that it was injuries sustained in a car accident. And then you've got like pretty much, which that's what all these, these um, screenshots are showing, is you've got the NewYorkPost.com and the Santa Suicide. E-News.com says suicide. People.com says suicide. USA Today says an accident. Uh, local news station WSFA, they say accident. But you know... This right here lets you know right off the bat, here is your first sign that this was not a natural suicide, which I don't know any suicide's natural, but this was not a self-orchestrated suicide because one of the first things that they do when something like this is going to have to be reported, like, you know, a death, um, and somebody famous especially, is they put out two or three different stories. So everybody gets confused and you're like, well, I heard this. And then the next person is like, well, I heard that. And then like you argue over it. And then it's like, well, at the end of it, you're just like, screw it. Whatever happened, happened. You just know that they're dead. So you don't inquire about it. You're not curious about what happened. You're not looking any further into the details because at this point, you're so confused that the many stories that's been told that you're just, just you know, it's just good enough to know that this person is, is deceased. So... The confusion, and that also keeps you away from the real, the real truth behind what happened as well. But that right there, I just wanted to say, right there was proof to me that this was a hit of some sort. Conspiracy or no conspiracy. Um, and also I wanted to point out, which I thought I had said on the video, but I don't guess I did. But you've got two women from the same field of interest, area of interest, which is beauty, beauty pageants, winning beauty pageants. And they both, within a week of each other, two weeks at the most, jump off of a six or seventh story balcony. Jump. Now, if your interest is in beauty and fashion, then it's pretty much safe to assume that you are very conscientious about your appearance, what you look like to others, uh, how you're portrayed, what your reputation is. Those things are very important to you. So now, what beauty queen is going to be selfish enough to take their own life, for one? Or number two, you jump off a six or seven story 
balcony. It's like concrete below. I'm not sure how much of an appearance you can have in a closed casket. You understand what I'm saying? So this MO, the method of suicide, is telling because that's kind of like one last ha-ha. Fork in you, you're done. That's the one thing that these girls fear the most. Is becoming undesirable or, or someone thinking they're ugly or looking ugly to someone or not being less than perfect. So you got to take that into account. They ain't no way that any beauty pageant winner, especially certified, documented, is going to commit suicide and not be, as she has to be, that pretty, cast, pretty, pretty corpse up in a casket. Now, we all know that to be true. I'm not trying to be rude or not trying to be brash, but that's, that's just the way the personality is. I mean, vanity, okay. They're beautiful girls. They deserve a little bit of that vanity and ego. I'll, I'll, I will allow them that without judging. <laughs> I don't judge anyway. I'm just making observations. But anyways, so there's two big reasons why I think these are conspiracies of a type. But I think they are very much true. And I don't think either one self-decided to fling themselves off of a six or seven story balcony. Now, that's my opinion, and you're entitled to yours. Thanks for listening. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye now.